Hello, and welcome to Hibacon M Hub, Chicago. Hey everyone, this is Haley from M Hub Inside, and today we are at Hibacon M Hub, the crappy robot building competition. Uh, we have an evening tournament that's going to be starting soon, so I'm going to show you some of the robots that people are building. Um, and in just a little bit, we will see them compete for a cash prize. Today, I will be reading you the official rules uh, robot building guidelines. The robot must be built on site during the event, technically low quality only, uh, not equipped with a device that deliberately sets out to destroy opposing machines, such as like a moving drill or anything of that sort, um, without any parts or material that are potentially harmful, offensive, or inappropriate to other participants. No larger than 20 inches by 20 inches. No restrictions on height. And it can't weigh more than five pounds. So let's look into what kinds of machinery has been built here at M Hub today. So can you tell me a little bit about your robot that you built? Yes. Well, so the the plan was to make it drive forward, and then it was going to be using the uh, the octopus uh, spinning on top. The to... many arms of the octopus to knock enemies aside. <laughs> uh, the, in the last ten minutes of the game, we um, I. I'm bad at soldering, so I melted a little bit of this battery, so it doesn't super move forward. But <laughs> in this competition, anything can happen. Call it. You got a name? Otto. Otto. Otto the octopus. Oh. He's listening to music. Well, we went for the name Make Some Roomba as a little funny Roomba joke. Um, so that kind of inspired like the sweepers. Um, but other than that, we kind of just went off the rails. We found a caterpillar head, decided to make it seem like a caterpillar. Just whatever worked. Uh, made a DVD to like try and get a flip on some of them. We have two guests here. What are your names? Bubs. And? And I'm Bubs' dad, Luke. Great, Luke and Bubs. Can you tell me a little bit about your bot that you are battling today? Tell him, tell him, Bubs. This, this is the Murderbot 3000. The Murderbot 3000. Yep. Are you saying that uh, you're gonna win? Yeah. How confident are you that you're gonna win today? So confident. So a thousand. confident. Awesome. A thousand percent confident. We were going, we were making a uh, robot with a controller, but then it kind of uh, was not really working to plan. Uh, so we had to improvise and not solder it as we intended. Uh, so it's, uh, but it still works just as fine. You just can't reverse. Yeah. So tell us about your robot. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is the combination of my work and a five-year-old's, and uh, I think we're going to take the competition. The duct tape is really what's going to bring us over the edge. Um, I burned out our motors 15 minutes ago, and so now I'm trying to do a new set of motors, and let's see if they make any noise. They, 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 they do something at least. Our team name is Smiley Destroyer. Wow. 3.0 is our 3.0 doing this competition. So, um, great, great. What was your inspiration for your robot? Um, I don't know. Just, just make, make it as like chaotic as possible and like 
we had some like basic ideas to like do a wrap so that they won't fall over easily. Did you guys bring in all of these materials or did you take mm -hmm. from here? Oh, we like, we came in, my sister and I just like went through all the boxes and found whatever we thought was cool. If we, were to, if we were to go back next time, I think get a better battery, better Pro better wheels. I think coming for, in with a chassis. I think maybe coming in with like being ready to make a robot instead yeah. of just bringing a bunch of nonsense and trying to make it up as we go along. Nevertheless, had a ton of fun. Yeah, it had a blast. Today was a blast. A lot of fun. So. Great. Having tons of fun at M Hub Chicago. Woo!